Hey, what's up, you guys? Time is back with another Linton's video. Today, you guys all might have came here for some fragrance talk, but before you even spray on your favorite cologne, your perfume, you must, you must take a shower. And when you take a shower, you must. And I repeat, it is an absolute must that you use soap. Whether it's bar soap, whether it's body wash, whether it's dish soap, I don't care what you use as long as you are using soap. And with that today, I do have some soap, some different men's grooming products. Also, the wife has got some stuff too, but yeah, we'll do a little video on that sometime down the line. But uh, we do have some men's grooming products. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh. That brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me right now where all the magic happens, just like me, in the bathroom. Maybe you are watching me right there, dropping a deuce, dropping a uno, I don't know what the hell you're dropping. You're dropping something and you're watching me. And if you are, I mean, kudos to you. Kudos to you for taking a dump or taking a leak and you're actually watching me right now. That is awesome. Hey, if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. By the way, that I'm in the bathroom, <sighs> gotta let you guys know one thing, okay? Heard about this uh, in Europe. The Europeans think the Americans are filthy, dirty. They're just some nasty animals. And in fact, one of the dirtiest things happens in the bathroom. You use it. With, again, whether you're dropping a deuce, whether you're draining the nozzle, whether you're sitting there if you're a woman and you got the woman parts and you're sitting on there. See, that's the cool thing about a woman. A woman can go into a public bathroom, sit, and you don't know what they're doing until they start smelling up the place. Men, if you're going into that part and you're not standing with your feet towards the toilet, we all know them pants are coming down and you are about to drop a deuce. About to drop the kids off at the pool, about to send the Browns to the Super Bowl, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I gotta let you guys know that if you guys have never used one, or if you guys don't have one, I highly, highly suggest using a bidet. Now, before we get into the products today, man, let me just tell you guys, a bidet is just so awesome. If you've never used one, I guarantee the first time you use it, maybe not the first time, maybe the second time or the third time, but eventually you will get used to it and you will not see yourself using the bathroom no other way. When you go to a public bathroom, if you do have to drop a deuce, you are going to kick yourself in the nads, in the crotch later when you get home because you did not have that bidet. Man, you guys get out there and get a bidet. But anyways, let's get done talking about bidets. Enough with the water gun for the ass. Let's get into this stuff, okay? Now, creative... Enchanted Path Creations, okay? You guys might have seen them on Facebook, okay? It's a lovely uh, couple, uh, John and Chastity, okay? What they do is they make different grooming products. They make uh, soaps. They make bath salts. They make uh, bath balms. They make beard oils. They make beard balms. Unfortunately, I don't have a beard to work that balm into today, but I do have a need for some soap. Again, everyone needs soap. Soap is essential to that body. If you don't use soap, honestly, you might as well not even get in the water neither, okay? So, obviously, you use soap, you scrub your ass, you scrub everything, and you get clean. Now, I do enjoy a nice body wash. I do enjoy soap, bar soap as well. Now, my favorite tool for either one is this thing, this big, fluffy man. I use this thing until it falls apart. Eventually, this thing turns into a big blue tile looking thing because the little holder eventually just breaks after so much use that it just, it, then it just folds up and you got this big old blue thing. Now, this one's kind of cool. I like the blue. If it looked like red, it looked like Bozo the Clown, but we got this blue. Now, what I like to do is rub soap. If I got bar soap, I rub the bar soap into it. Get such a great lather or else you just use the body wash. You squeeze on there and there you go. But, um, okay. Those guys out there, you know, I gave them a little buzz through Facebook. 
You're going to find them on Facebook, okay? Right now, they are just getting started. It's pretty much like a hobby right now. Hobby slash kind of selling these things as well. It's not like a big business or anything like that, so you're not going to find a website. You are going to find them on Facebook, and I'm going to leave that stuff down below. I'll actually leave it somewhere on this video. You'll see it, and you'll be able to get in touch with them, and then you shall see what they have to offer. See if you like anything. Now, I actually had got the wife... Uh, some uh, some some women's products. They were actually nice enough to send my wife some uh, some some woman products, and they sent me a, a range of different grooming products. Okay, starting with this thing. Now, at first, I thought this was just a soap holder, and obviously, you can use it as a soap holder, but you can also use this as a scrub too. You can put your soap in there, you put it in there, and you scrub away. Okay, You're gonna exfoliate the skin with that big scrubber. Okay. So they're nice enough to give me that. Also nice to give me this nice bar of soap, this soap holder. Okay, you guys know you don't just put the soap on the thing that comes in the bathtub, okay? That it eventually leaves too much rings and stuff like that. Leave the ring on here, clean this off later instead of doing it all in there, okay? So get yourself one of these nice enough to send that as well. And then they sent me an array of bath soaps, bar soaps, okay? Now this one, uh, man, I just hate when you get like some kind of beard product and then before you're about to use it, something happens where you have to get rid of the whole beard and that's exactly what happened. Um, I can show you guys this. I'm not going to be able to use it today, but this is the Enchanted Path Creations Iron Forge Beard Balm Caramel Tobacco. Let me get in here and smell it, okay? Again, nice people, okay? John and Chastity, uh, so nice. They were nice enough to send me this stuff free, free of charge. You know, I said, you know what? Send me that stuff. I'm a small guy. I'm just getting started with the YouTube. You guys are getting started with the soaps and all that stuff. Now, yeah, let's work together. Let's not go to big Jeremy Fragrance and go ask him to do it. Come, come to the small guy. Come to the small guy who's starting to get a little bit of that steam. Like, I'm going to be getting a little bit of that steam in that shower. So, you come to me and we can work this thing out together. But look at that. Established in 2021. So, you know what? They've been around just as about as long as I've been around doing these videos since 2021. So, Iron the Forge. That is that beard balm, that caramel and tobacco. And you guys already know, man. If you have a beard, okay? Maybe you don't have a beard. If not, you could obviously use this. Honestly, you could even use this stuff just to kind of put on your hands. Give yourselves, your hands, a nice little shine, a little smoothness. But, man, if you guys got a beard, you know what a good beard balm is all about. Leaves that nice, silky, smooth, soft texture to your beard. Makes your beard smell great. Now, again, one thing I like to do, too, if you get, like, a beard balm that is unscented, this one is scented, but what I can do is I can take, like, a tobacco-scented uh, fragrance. You know, after I rub that into my hand, the balm, spray a little bit of that cologne in the hand and rub it in there, and then now we got this powerful balm, this powerful caramel tobacco balm. So put some spice balm on that, boom, 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 rub it into the face, and you are good to go. Now, obviously, I'm going to eventually have to jump into that shower, okay? cool thing about videos is I'm ass naked with my ass pointed towards the water okay so if you do hear a few drops here and there honestly that's just the bidet working okay no, I'm just kidding um, no I'm fully clothed down here but eventually I'm gonna get in the nude I'm gonna jump in that shower I'm gonna use some of this soap and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think now I'm not gonna use all this soap because you know you got to you got to use some of these soaps. Now that's the one thing I like about soaps as well is man. Sometimes I get addicted to different smelling soaps. You guys probably the same way. Bar soaps, uh, whether it's body wash, you buy so many and then you just start using one after the other. Sometimes I don't wait. My mom would kill me. Like if we used to eat the cereal and like we open up one box and then the next box without finishing the first box, my mom would kill me. So she's seen this soap in here like three different men's soaps body washes, all that in there, she would totally kill me. She would actually take out some of those body washes and probably mix them together just to get rid of all those bottles. So eventually I will use all these bar soaps. I'm going to use one today, but I'll let you know what I think of it. Now, these are all natural. Okay. This one. Okay. We got a nice, oh, look at that, that enchanted path, whiskey, oak creations. Look at that. Got that nice whiskey, woody scent. Let's smell that. Oh, 
vodka, you get a little hint of the whiskey. There's a little slight hint of whiskey, but that oak is very nice. The oak is very masculine, very lovely, okay? Ooh, man, I can't wait to use that one. That one's nice. Again, you guys all know we all need body wash and body bar soap. Again, without it, you just should not just even get in the water, okay? Just go swimming, okay? If you're going to do that, just go swimming. Use that swimming pool as your bathtub. And then we'll go from there. But look at this. Next one. We got pine needles. It's going to smell like a big old Christmas tree. You got to get into that water with that pine tree. You can't just take a... Ooh. It does kind of got this like green, earthy, bright, fresh. Ooh, that's nice too. Man, going to have me light up like a Christmas tree. Man, the wife might... You know, Hook up some candy canes on me later. I don't know, but let's get to the next one. What do we got here? Oh, uh, root beer. Who doesn't want to smell like a good root beer float? You take this, you lather yourself up with some Cool Whip afterwards, and you're going to smell like a damn root beer float. Let's smell this one real quick. Hell, I might eat it if it smells like it. Man, that is... Man, that is as if... As if I just opened up a bottle of A&W. A&W is the best root beer. I mean, those small, you know, soda companies are good too, but A&W to me is the best root beer, hands down. Oh, that is nice. Enchanted Path Creations, again, with the wind on the root beer. Man, who doesn't want to smell like a root beer float, huh? Next up, let's see what else we got here. Oh, man, I'm going to be smelling good for a minute, you guys. Oh, Man, I think they took this one right off of uh, a Tom Ford creation. Look at this one. We got a tobacco vanilla. Vanille. Now, look at that. I like these soaps when they're like that, that rustic look. Okay, it looks like they just snapped it in half and just gave me a piece of it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't got to look perfect. All that matters is what it smells like, and let's get in here and smell it. Oh, that's definitely got that vanilla, that spicy, almost like cinnamony, nutmeggy smell. Oh, man, I really don't know which one I want to use today, but that smells awesome. Ooh, man, that's dope. That is dope, dope business right there, okay? Next up, let's see what else we got here. Man, this guy, those guys out there, man, I think they're out, you know, let's see where the hell they're at anyways. Out there in that Pennsylvania area, that Berwick where the hell is Berwick? I have no idea. Are they close to the uh, Philly cheesesteaks? Who knows? If you guys know, let me know, please. This one. Oh, Dracar Noir. You guys know the infamous fragrance from... Uh, who the hell makes that again? I don't know. I'm going to get to the smell anyways. Hmm. Dracar Noir. Guy LaRoche. Is that what his name is? Oh, Man, I like this one too. And you know, the good thing is these soaps all have this nice, smooth, almost like you can tell there's going to be some kind of moisturizer up in here because it's got this nice, soft, almost like oily feel, but it's not like it's going to leave your skin oily. It's going to leave your skin nice and moisturized. Okay, so Dracar Noir, man, another good smell in the soap. Last but not least, oh, man, honestly... One of my favorite uh, scents when it comes to bar soaps or any kind of soap, any scent in general, is Bay Rum. And here we go. We got a Bay Rum. Again, Enchanted Path Creations. Ooh. I like that. Man, that is very nice. Man. You know, that is the beauty of... Uh, getting to know certain people, um, you guys eventually, you know, you know, and maybe eventually I create, uh, a fragrance. Maybe I, I get together with someone that can create some fragrance for me. And then, um, you know, I can, you know, dish out the, um, the, the favors for some other people, but man, that is the beauty of, um, just getting to know different people through Facebook, through YouTube and stuff like that. Just being able to discuss different things. And then you got people that are nice enough to send you out some stuff 
for free. All they asked was for just a little bit of a review, and that's what I'm going to give you guys. So I'm going to get in the tub, okay? We're going to pause this video. I'm going to come back probably in some different clothes, maybe in just a towel. Who knows? Just to kind of give you my last impressions on this soap. But again, that was six bars of soap. Now, I don't have their prices just yet. Um, I don't have the prices on anything. But again, you can just go on Facebook. Look them up through Facebook. I'll leave the description down below. I'll leave it in this video. You go there and you discuss. You just talk with them, okay? Tell them what you want. Tell them you want some of their beard stuff. Tell them you want some of their beard oil. Tell them you want some of those bath salts. Tell them you want some of those women's soaps. They had plenty of women's soaps as well. Bar soaps, raspberry stuff, hibiscus stuff, that. All that goodies, okay? So I'm going to get in the tub. I'm going to go bonkers with this soap and i'm gonna come back and let you know what i think so with that being said i'll see you in a minute hey what's up you guys i'm back just got done using some of that enchanted path creation soap the bar soap i used the root beer because as soon as i smelled that i was like man i got to use that soap man what an intoxicating smell you get while you are in the shower especially you take one of those hot steamy steamy duper steamy showers that root beer is going to be just all up in there okay it's going to smell like a root beer float you are going to be smelling that yummy now um one thing i just want you guys to know um and it's, it's not a knock towards them because i want to be totally honest with you guys i don't want you guys you know i want you guys to know everything okay now that soap being brown it's like kind of like a brown chocolatey look almost looks like uh, a fudge chocolate or something like that or something, uh, you know, just brown. Now, when you rub it into a so-called white washcloth, okay? So I did rub some in here. I used my sponge too, but I, I rubbed a little bit in here. Some of the color of the soap did come onto the white uh, washcloth. So I just want them to know that maybe they'll see it. But I mean, just think about it. If you are rubbing that soap and then you decided to go here and then you maybe your eyes are closed because you don't want to get soap in the eyes and you start scrubbing down there and this comes back up and it's got that color you know women maybe if there's a red soap and maybe that comes there and you're just washing somewhere down there and who knows maybe it flows in town maybe flojo brown is in town who knows but that is the only that is the only issue i have with the soap the soap leaves the skin feeling pretty smooth in fact it reminds me of the squatch soap squash or squatch i think it is uh it leaves your skin a nice and smooth okay not like oily but just that like nice little sheen of uh that softness that you get okay so obviously i'm gonna have to use this a little bit more just to you know get the full effects of this soap you can't just you know get the full effects in just one use so i'm gonna have to use that some more but I just want to let you guys know, so far, I'm impressed with the bar soap. Now, the wife is actually, uh, what do you think? Can you smell root beer in here? I can. So, she can smell root beer in here. So, again. I didn't know what he was doing. When I opened the door, I was like. Thought I was probably making a root beer float in here. Again, if someone was to come into the bathroom, their nose just, you know, leads them to that bar soap. And they just so happen to take a bite out of it. I would understand exactly how they came to that conclusion, how they would go over there and bite that. I would, I would know how they made that mistake because, again, it literally does smell like root beer, okay? It does. Uh, root beer in full effect. Now, the wife has a little package. Again, I did mention that they sent the wife a package as well. Now, I'm not sure if all that is for her because it is a nice, heavy, heavy little yeah. package again big kudos big shout out to Thanks, you guys. guys you guys uh came through in the clutch me. man i was running out of soap too so you guys came in the clutch no i had a lot of soap but you guys definitely came in the clutch now i, I was gonna use the root beer soap but she was gonna use the root beer uh yeah so uh <laughs> again that's the only issue i can think of uh, as far as the soap itself it's is maybe the bad, color. Uh, when you first rub it into it, it, it was really brown. So, so there, therefore, I mean, maybe brown would not be the best option with the uh, white washcloth. Maybe you want to use a darker washcloth if you're going to use that brown soap. I mean, the, the good thing is you can smell it. You can clearly see it smells like root beer, not, you know, 
mud butt or some stuff like that. Oh. But uh, man, wow! They First came... opening this, I see there's a, like a little wooden scoop in here, so I'm excited to see what this is. Ooh, what is the wooden scoop? Scoop out balls of soap. Okay, I see something cool. This is with the wooden scoop. Okay. Oh. I can oh. kind of see it. It's like bath salt, and you use. Like a nice scoop to scoop oh, that salt into there. I'm seeing some cool stuff. The hubby has one of these, and I was going to steal that. And the cool soap holder. And she's got one of those little scrubbies. Or, again, you can use that to oh. transfer your soaps to a different location. Now, obviously, you don't Trans want a dry to soap. Oh, yep, more you can do soap. that. More soap. These are obviously oh, women's scents now. More. So, soap oh, galore. Man. I caught us whip it up before it even got so, out the bag. Uh, yeah, once you get to the bottom of that, let's uh, go through the uh, varieties Ooh. of soap just to see what we got. I don't even know what this is, but it's like cool. You kind of see a little bit through a bag. Looks like some more salt, some kind of some kind of bad oh, salt. Oh yeah, because it has a, a spoon this time. Now don't get that mistaken for uh, cooking salt, okay? You don't want your uh, food smelling uh, like uh, Chanel. You don't want a uh, Chanel cooked steak. Okay? This is Enchanted for the bathroom. Chanel. Okay. But let's see what we got here. I thought it was a candle. I'm excited to see the salt, salt too. too. Ooh, I might actually have to take a bath. You flower petals already. So they went all out with the salt. Usually you just get some of that Epsom salt and you just, that's for like kind of pain and stuff like that. But sometimes you ladies want that spa I want flowers. Uh, type of salt. Since I have to run my own baths. I wonder if this is kosher. Is this kosher? Is this kosher salt? Let's see, what, let's see, what, let's see what we got here. Now look at that. That is that Beautiful. is cool. I'm trying to unwrap it nicely. Ooh, and I succeeded. Okay, so is there a, a scent to that too? Uh, let's see what it says on the front. It says Enchanted Path established 2021 Enchanted Salts Spring Rose Creation. And I love rose scents. Look at that. Let's see if we can smell some. That's where the rose petals come into play. It's like legit. I'm getting more of that paper. We're going to have to open it up just a little bit just to see. You know what? We're going to save those salts for when she actually takes a uh, bath, okay? Yeah. We'll, we'll save that. But let's see what the soaps we got. What kind of flavors we got. We have black raspberry vanilla. Ooh, who doesn't like smell like black raspberry vanilla? And you can vanilla? smell this through the package. It is strong. It's got Man. that nice tart raspberry smell to it, which I really like. Ooh, blueberry cobbler. He'll Ooh. probably try to scrub this on his on on his head or something. Mm. Smelling like this, man. Oh, that that's actually a very nice blueberry. You guys know blueberry is not super duper sweet or anything like that. That's a very nice blueberry scent. Georgia peach. Georgia peach. Uh oh. Dogs are getting. The, I think the dogs want some of the soap. Man. That is a nice peachy. Hey. Uh, I don't know what they're doing over there with these soaps. Uh, they, they, they're putting real bars of uh, wow. peach and blueberries and making smoothie this soaps. This is going to be your favorite. See if you can guess what this is. you you got to know this. This is one of your favorite meals in the morning. Oh, you, and, no, you and Ty like this. Chocolate milk cookies. No. It's an actual. Oh man, that smells good. Uh, tricks, fruity pebbles or tricks. It's, ooh. Now. <laughs> fruity pebbles. Man, that is good, you guys. Ooh. It smells exactly like it. I'm almost tempted to just like take a bite of this bar like, just to and see. And it looks like I'm the not going to do that. Look at that. Looks like the milk, right? With all the fruity pebbles like mixed in there, like when it sits too long. Man, that's nice. It smells pebbles. just like it. What else do we got working over here? Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna stack them all on top of each other. Sorry if this uh, video is going a little bit too long because it's gonna be kind of long. But uh, you guys just bear with us. Oh, we're gonna keep you guys somewhat uh, entertained. Milk and honey. This is usually one of my staples and favorites. But man, they they made me venture out. Now oatmeal. Ooh. I like that. That doesn't smell like your typical oatmeal milk and honey. I like that. 
That does smell good. That uh, a really your good. typical oatmeal and uh, honey kinda is kind of light. Kind of light. Mm. But that's actually got a nice little pop to it. I like that. I'm digging that one. I'd definitely use that one as well. Mm -mm. He's, he's trying to mark his soap that he wants. Wow. Last but not least. Midsummer's Night. Wow. So that's that would be almost like a... Uh, Maybe it just makes you think of a moonlit dinner slash walking on a beach, something. But that smells good, too. I feel like that's going to linger for a while. And, uh, again, we got some of those bath salts. A lot of salt. Salt. Salts are good. Yeah, because I take a lot of baths. Again, too, what you might want to do, too. I don't know. I think I would do this if I was a man. I don't know what the hell you use soaps for. I think you just put them in the bathtub, but... Man, put a little bit of those on a washcloth and just start scrubbing your skin a little bit, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, to exfoliate. You know, when do y'all take baths? I take, I'm a morning bath taker. I like to take baths at the, uh, the swimming pool. <laughs> just like to just sit in there. The so, uh, some bathtubs are just a little bit too small. We got a standard bathtub. It's, uh, you it's know, high. you're big like me, you just... You know, as soon as that cool body hits that tub, it's gonna get cool pretty fast. You gotta keep running that hot water to get some more hot but water. Hot water gets hot. It does now this one is a uh This one is it is a salt too? A milk bath. That is cool. I've never had a milk bath before. And this has like flowers and maybe berry chunks in it. That is cool. Looks like you're gonna be baking up something in that damn bath. That is cool. That is cool. Again, got that. Man, I like the little uh, attention to detail with the little spoons. I think that's just a dope idea instead of just going in there and sprinkling it like yeah, it's like, like you're sprinkling a steak. And they give the, you a spoon. The bottles are so, like, um, medieval. Like, like they really are enchanted. Like, something Tinkerbell would have or something from, like, uh, Lord of the, the Rings. Dwarves. Yeah. Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. Like a potion. Maybe, uh, what's the, yeah, the, the movie? Gandalf. Twilight. Twilight stuff, I don't know. <laughs> I do like Twilight. But. And what is this? What is this, a shower cap? You didn't get one of these. I didn't get a shower cap. Obviously, uh, they didn't think I had enough hair for one of those, maybe. Uh, or maybe that's something else. I don't know. Maybe it's not even a shower cap. Who it knows? is a headband. Oh, it is. Oh, they know me. Did you tell them? I wear headbands all the time. So they must have seen the videos. They must have caught a few of them. I wear Especially. headbands too, so maybe they maybe they mistaken and, and sent that in there with hers. And honestly, they want me to wear it. Who knows? Oh, is this your? Uh, probably. Let's see. You like a uh, floral? I guess it'll match your whole wardrobe. You wouldn't have to wear a different one. Oh, that's nice because you are going on a vacation. That looks cool. So Look like birthday, Karate Kid. You're being the, the Karate Garden Kid with nice tropical. leaves and stuff like that. But not leaves. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna get up out of here. Uh, Enchanted Path Creations again. A big shout out to you guys. They wrote a note. We hope you like it, Chaz. Chastity, but Chaz, Chaz for short. Chaz and John. So we hope you enjoy. Thank enjoy you. this stuff. And then this is their information in case y'all would like to order. Again, they are on Facebook right now. Again, this is not a huge website. Okay, you're not gonna go on there and seeing all this stuff. You got to go to Facebook. Go check out their page. Get in contact with them. I got in contact with them. They got back with me ASAP, actually. So they are quick. As soon as they shipped it out, I got the stuff within like a week, maybe even faster than that. So they ship fast. They do everything good. Again, bar soap holder. You got the soap scrubber. You got the salts. You got the bar soaps. Everything in there, even a headband. So you can't beat that. Well, so, Chaz and John... I will definitely enjoy this, and I really appreciate it, because me, the wife, as everybody refers to me, um, I'm usually forgotten, and y'all did not forget me, and I really appreciate it. Y'all went above and beyond. I cannot wait. I will definitely order again if I ever want run out in this lifetime. So we're going to be here for a while, so we, we, we do have plenty of stuff to go through, but again... If you guys are watching I, this, again, everyone, before you even spray, before you even think about dousing yourself with a fragrance, you must first Scrub take up. a shower or a bath and use soap, okay? 
Yeah. Getting in the water, you might as well just go Exfoliate. swimming. Swim. Swim if you're not going to use soap, okay? If you're going to use soap, use some good soap. Use that soap that keeps that skin smooth. You know what? Y'all should be taking advice from me. He always says, I have good skin. She does. It, the skin always smells good whenever I spray a fragrance on her skin. It seems to last much longer on her skin. My skin is usually dry. Although, you wouldn't be able to tell. My hands are kind of soft, actually, for feet. a man's hands. His feet are I got soft, soft too. feet, so, uh, and I don't do nothing to him besides just walk in dirt and mud he, and all that. He is a liar. He, he Once in a while, I'll go in there and bathe my feet. When we first met, he used to exfoliate his feet, and then he started getting pedicures with me. As much as I thought it was, it was out of my reach to have a, a, a stranger touching my feet with that cheese grater he and all that stuff. It. Man, there's nothing that feels better than that, especially the end product when you start rubbing your feet together. You can't play footsie with the wife if you have those scratchers. Okay, it's not gonna work. You don't want to claw up the sheets. You know the wife will get mad at you if those feet cause any scratches or oh, rips to the sheets. So uh, make sure you get those feet taken care of. Feet are important. Go let those ladies rub your legs and feet. But uh, we're going to get up out of here. Uh, this thing is going a little bit too long. But, hey, hopefully you guys see this video. And hopefully you guys go and check them out. Again, the Enchanted Path Creations. Go check them out. We're going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.